Skating for me was sort of a, a family affair. My grandparents lived on a lake and my grandfather was coach of the University of Wisconsin hockey team, one of the assistant coaches. And so skating was just one of those things that the family did in the winter. I think the first things that I really remember, I was a figure skater, believe it or not, and skated for the Madison uh, Wisconsin Figure Skating Club. And we were encouraged after a few years of doing that not to come back, my sister and I, just because we were skating around, just having fun going fast and had no ambitions of doing much more than that. And then at age eight, parents signed me up for the uh, Madison sort of city races and my sister and I both were very successful there and got recruited by the speed skating team to join them soon thereafter. Gosh, I had ambitions, you know, when I was 14, I can remember sort of having an epiphany that there were two things I wanted to do. One was to become a doctor and the other was to make it in the Olympics. And the Olympic um, dream was really, you know, nurtured by the, the speed skating club, but more importantly, it was having my coach and mentor show up in Madison. Diane Holm was a very successful speed skater. She had just completed the Olympic Games in Sapporo, Japan, which was in 1972. And she showed up in Madison to go to school and decided was going to coach the, the speed skating team. So I thought, gosh, you know, I want to do something really just like her. Every once in a while, you <laughs> will find athletes who are sort of found the correct niche for a sport. And I think I was one of those who was lucky enough to find a niche that basically suited my physical capabilities. Then you also have to make sure that you have the, the mental fortitude. And I, and I think I had that mental fortitude to really push myself. And I always wanted to sort of find out what my limitations were. I just always thought that the best skaters were the guys who could skate good at 10,000 meters. And that was a race that had always been a challenge to me. And after crossing the finish line, there in Lake Placid to have, you know, not only won the race, but had to, had set a world record was, you know, something that I had not anticipated and I think was one of the, I'm going to tell you, probably one of the best races I ever had. And then all of a sudden, a lot of things start going through your mind. You know, you start thinking, okay, this is it. This is sort of the, the end of my career. And thinking to myself, shoot, I'm 21 years old and I'm never going to be this fit again in my life. It was kind of a... <laughs> A strange sensation. The success at the Olympics has opened a lot of doors and opportunities. And you can imagine all of a sudden the world is knocking at your door to endorse things and participate in, in different activities. When I think about what got me into Stanford University, which is one of the premier universities in the in the country, I think, you know, when they put past accomplishments, when you say five gold medals, that usually opens up doors or at least makes them look twice at your application. People will often ask me, you know, is it, is it something you can nurture? Is it something that you're sort of, sort of born with? I'm sort of of the opinion that it's, it's something that you're sort of born with. You can nurture it to some degree, um, but to be the best of the best, you gotta have passion in, in what you're pursuing. And it's that passion that allows you to get out the door every day to, to train. It's that passion that allows you to overcome some of those, um, hurdles in your, your career. It's that passion that allows you to overcome injuries. Um, and it's that, that passion that allows you to, to push yourself a little bit farther than somebody who just does not quite have that same desire. You know, when I, when I look back, I think it's more the participation in the sport and the experiences that you have rather than the success of where you place. And when I look back, it's I think it's that philosophy that has allowed me to be very successful in my life.